From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. You can expect partly cloudy skies today. Greg D will have your full forecast in just a bit. I'm Jasmine Stiles, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. You may see more deputies stopping drivers on your commute to work this week. It's a statewide crackdown on reckless drivers in school zones. The most dangerous violations are drivers not stopping for school buses and flying through crosswalks in school zones. Now deputies are handing out tickets ranging from $150 to $400. Today, Duke Energy is installing new equipment that the company claims saves you money. It's replacing regular electric meters with smart meters in Clearwater. The new ones let you pick your own due date and tracks your energy consumption. So far, the company has installed about 4,000 smart meters in the Tampa Bay area. The city of Holmes Beach now has a new layer of security for Anna Maria Island. Holmes Beach police installed five license plate readers around town. Those devices alert officers if your license is suspended, revoked, or you're in a stolen car. But some drivers don't feel comfortable with this new surveillance. About privacy and how much of our privacy are we giving up all the time? It is not an invasion of privacy. You're giving more information to Publix when you go to Publix than you're giving us. The police chief says the new plate readers are catching someone driving onto the island again with a revoked or suspended license every five minutes. Today, the USF St. Pete campus breaks ground on its new residence hall and dining facility. The 375 bed dorm will help increase the number of students living on campus. It'll be located at 3rd Street South and 6th Avenue South. Construction should be completed by July 2020. And it's one of the biggest nights of the year for Buccaneers fans and the Bucks themselves. We're talking draft night. The Bucks had the fifth overall pick. The team is hosting an official draft party at Raymond James Stadium. Doors open at 630 and the draft starts at 8. St. Pete neighbors have a new option for getting exercise and it's absolutely free. AARP has now opened a new exercise park in St. Pete. Over the next three years, the organization wants to have them in every state where they have offices. Now let's get a look at weather with Greg. Looks a lot more cloudy today, Jasmine. Still warm, though, and turning more humid as we go through the day. Temperatures will top out in the low to mid 80s. Could be close to 90 east of I-75. You'll feel a southerly wind start to pick up by tonight. That means this evening will be warm with temperatures staying right around 80 degrees. Rain still likely in the forecast for tomorrow. Your hour by hour rain planner posted right now in the ABC Action News app. Jasmine. Thank you, Greg. You can now get your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians always use the crosswalk and cross with the signal when crossing the street because safety doesn't happen by accident.